What's up, everybody? This is Jay with Infamous Sneak here back again with another episode. And we actually going to go talk about something interesting that's coming out of Trophy Room in Miami with Marcus Jordan, aka Michael Jordan's son. But before we get into it, go and check out our Instagram page. You're going to keep up to date with all things that's coming out with sneaker related. And also go and see all the all of our YouTube content that also comes out as well. All right, let's get into it. But before we go and get into the actual sneaker news with trophy room i just want to go and keep you guys up to date with what's been going on for the last week or so so we actually have a collab between puma and mellow ball's new sneaker he has which is the mellow ball 003 with a collab with dexter's laboratory this has color blocking all over the shoe has very vivid colors whether or not it's green red blue also with the black and white that you see a lot within dexter's laboratory when it comes to um like that tv blurring effect that goes across it's a very interesting color placement and color choice within is really pushing those boundaries with puma and the creativity that they're allowing mellow ball to go with and i just i like it it brings those kids who never got a chance to go and experience like those, those 2000s cartoons get to see how many colors and how vibrant these shows were even though they were a little bit dated for kids nowadays but it's still very out there and it still has an impact within the kids nowadays so grats to Mellow Ball and then we also have another sneaker we actually talked about this sneaker before when it comes to that Fat Joe video I'll try to go and have it pinned somewhere on the screen uh, about the uh, all black Air Force One these are actually getting an update to them in some way shape or form but this one's actually gonna be with the fly e technology that's gonna be implemented into the shoe. So what the fly e technology is, is people who have certain disabilities to where they're not able to put their shoes on um, by themselves, or they have some sort of disability to where it's hard for them to put them shoes on, or they just have trouble doing it and it's, much more of a troublesome task than everybody else. It makes it to where you can just slip your foot in and go. So we're now they're doing it with an actual sneaker like the Air Force One to where it's gonna be some sort of combination inside the heel. We were able to push down the heel and guess slip your foot in. There's only a little bit of details. There's not really much more information than that, but I'll go and keep you posted because it is interesting that they decided to finally do it to an Air Force One of all models, but it also is even more interesting because now if you can definitely slide on your ops a lot better, you can also run away from your ops a lot quicker. And for that particular shoe, there isn't a release date right now that's been set in stone. It's still up in the air, but the price is speculated to be around $110. And I'll go and update you guys more when more news comes out about it. And it's no surprise that the Jordan 1 Low was the shoe that was picked go and be a collab sneaker for Jordan Bram and Trophy Room. But if you look at the past history of the Jordan 1 Low, it's been a lot more appreciation recently during these collabs, such as a lot of the school collabs that they have when it comes to a lot of those PEs that's been coming out. We also have the Florida Gators uh, one low that, that came out in May. We have the Travis Scott collabs that came out within the last year. We even have the Black Toes and the Dior's. We have the Year of the Dragons and so on and so forth. We have made collabs with it. So it doesn't surprise us, but we don't actually know what the colorway is going to be, what the price may be, but we do know a month. And the month is going to end up being sometime in February. But there is the controversy that comes with Trophy Room doing a collab and actually releasing a pair of shoes. And that controversy is simple that Trophy Room is really bad with actually getting the shoes out to customers, which sounds kind of crazy when it's something such as getting the shoe to the customers, but let me explain. So when it came to the actual original 
Jordan 1 trophy rooms. That one was actually kind of a shit show, if you wanted to say it as is, because you had to enter with a weird raffle. Most places who do a raffle, you would just enter your information, maybe put some credit card details down just as a placeholder, and then from there, it'll send it into their system. You, for this one, you had to actually email them, tell them what your size is, and then somehow they just pick random people and then you get it. But what didn't make any sense at all was that the way that they were doing it is you really didn't see anyone actually win. If you were to check social medias and your people go and talk about it, you didn't see that almost anyone win. And then you would see other big resellers with these huge supplies of the shoe. Like, how do they just get all these supplies of the shoe if you're supposed to be selling it to the consumer, which every, almost every sneaker store does some sort of back doors or reselling on the side a little bit. But this was heavy. And you're seeing how it was also a small amount of those shoes as well, that doesn't make any sense on how majority of your stock that you were seeing was on Instagram. You saw other prominent figures such as Benjamin Kicks and other known resellers as well have these huge supplies and fill up a whole room. And it's like, how do I even have a chance to win this raffle fair? Because if you're gonna enter a raffle, I at least want to make it fair. If I lose fair, then I'm not gonna be as mad. I'm just still gonna be mad that I lost but I'm not gonna be as mad because I lost fairly. And with this go around, will it actually hurt Jordan's reputation and Trophy Room's reputation if they don't get it correct this time with having some sort of system in place or having something set in stone in which when you do these big collabs with any brand, not just Jordan brand, but just Jordan brand going forward, that you're actually able to get these shoes out that people that actually want them and not resellers who are trying to flip this shoe for a car because that's how much it's probably going to go for if they get this colorway just amazing with the materials the box and everything that comes with it and then it's probably going to sell heavy but at the same time we just want to make sure that it's actually going to consumers not resellers but what do you guys think? Do you think that if JB and Trophy Room don't get this whole drop correct, that you're actually gonna be shopping with Trophy Room again if they ever do get more collabs in the future, which seeing how he's Michael Jordan's son, he's probably gonna get more collabs. But will you shop with Trophy Room or will you just go to other retailers and go and try to get your shoes or just kind of say, well, the trophy room collabs i'm just not gonna go for them because i know i can't win so what do you guys say about it just drop a comment down below because i just want to hear what you guys thoughts when it comes to this whole controversy that comes to it drop your comments down below so i can go and see what are your stories with trophy room if you have any and also would you still shop with them in the future if this happened to you and also make sure that you like, follow, and subscribe to our page. You're going to keep up to date with all sneaker-related news. My name is Jay. This is Infamous Sneaks. All right, peace.